Hey everyone, Cubic King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to install the latest AOKP ROM Android Open King Project ROM on your Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1. This is an ice cream sandwich based ROM, Android 4.0. Um, it's on a stable release, Milestone 4 now. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a video showing you how to install it. I'll also be doing a separate review video of this ROM. So first of all, to install it, you're gonna need to make sure you have Clockwork Mod on your device. You're gonna need to make sure you're rooted. I have a video showing you how to root and install Clockwork Mod. I guess I can link to that in the description of the video. If you are not rooted anyways, go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video. It will take you to the AOKP site. We're gonna to need to download two files actually, so scroll down, and depending on the type of tablet that you do have is the version you're gonna to need to install. So on the left side here, as you can see, you'll see a couple different versions. You'll see uh, P4, P4 VZW, and P4 Wi-Fi on the left here. So uh, P4 is the 3G one, P4 VZW is obviously the Verizon one, and P4 Wi-Fi is the Wi-Fi only one. So depending on the version of your tablets, the, the version of the ROM you're gonna need to install. So on the right, you, there's three mirrors you can download from any of them, I believe. So just click on one, get the, get the file downloaded. In my case, I have a Wi-Fi only one, so I'm gonna download the Wi-Fi only one. You're also, regardless of which uh, tablet you have, you're gonna need to download the G apps down here. So click download right there on the G app. So you're gonna need to download both of those files once both of them are downloaded, go ahead and uh, transfer both of them onto your internal storage of your tablet. So make sure you have both of those files on there and you can go back to your tab. And once we're back to our tablet and both of the files are on there, we're going to need to power it on off. So go ahead and hit power off, hit OK. I'm just going to do this just because if your ROM has a reboot and a recovery option, you can select that if you'd like. I'm just showing it for some people that need to manually go into Clockwork Mod. So once your tablet powers off, we're gonna need to get into Clockwork Mod, obviously. To do so, you're gonna need to press and hold the volume down, which is the left arrow, and the power button at the same time. So press and hold both of those. And then once the Samsung screen lights up, only let go of the power button. So go ahead and wait. Now let go of the power button, keep the volume down button held, and it will take you to this screen. Uh, you're gonna need to press the volume down the left one once again to get over to the other image. This is the clockwork mod image or the recovery image. And then go ahead and press the right arrow to select it. And then it will reboot you into your custom recovery clockwork mod. As you can see, clockwork mod 5.0.2.7 right here. Um, now what we're gonna need to do to install this ROM is first of all, I'm gonna recommend making an Android backup. You use uh, volume keys to navigate and power button to select. Go down to backup and restore, select it and press backup. I highly recommend making an Android backup just in case anything goes wrong, you can re restore that backup. But anyways, now once you're done with your backup and you have both files on there, you go to wipe data, factory reset. This will wipe everything, so make sure that you have everything backed up that you do need backed up. And then go ahead and hit yes, delete all user data. So as I said, it's gonna go ahead and format everything. Now, it will not format your internal storage though, don't worry about that. So if you have pictures and such on there, you don't have to worry. Um, anyways, go ahead and then go down to wipe cache partition and hit yes, wipe cache, select that. And then once that's done, go to the advanced menu and hit wipe Dalvik cache and hit yes, wipe Dalvik cache. And then once those are done, just hit go back and then install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, and then navigate to the ROM file, the specific ROM file that you uh, downloaded, in my case, AOKP P4 Wi-Fi milestone four zip, and select it and hit yes, install. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and let this install and I will be back once it's done. Once it's done, we're not done yet, so don't reboot after it's done installing. All right, so as you can see, install from SD card complete. The ROM is done installing. We're not done yet though, so go back to choose zip from SD card, and then navigate to those G apps, the Google apps, zip, and select it. So G apps, ICS, signed zip, select that, and hit yes, install. So it's gonna go ahead and install the Google apps add-on, which would be the market. Gmail, Google Talk, all those good Google apps. Um, it won't take as long as a ROM, but it will take a decent amount of time since the file size is pretty large. So go ahead and let that install as well. All right, and as you can see, install from SD card complete, we are done. So now go ahead and just hit go back 
and then reboot system now. So we can go ahead and reboot our tablet, and once we do, we are going to be running the AOKP ROM on our Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys check out the boot animation, but as I said, I'm going to be doing a separate review video, so definitely going to want to check that out. I'll be going over things, bugs, etc. Just basically everything having to do with this ROM. As you can see, the boot animation is a pink unicorn, Team Kang. Um, so very, very nice there. I know a lot of you guys are going to like that one. Uh, but anyways, as I said, be sure to check out my review video. I will uh, link to that in the description of the video. Be sure to subscribe to me. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.